everyone, so today we will be talking about my skincare routine and what products I use. But at the same time, I want to talk about some chemicals and also why such products were able to help my skin clear up. So in order to do that, I was able to research and watch Leah Yu. Leah Yu is a skincare expert who also has, I believe, six researchers behind her backing up her information to know if it's really true or not. So I really watch her videos. I love her videos. I suggest watching her videos or even subscribing to her channel because she is amazing and you learn so much about skincare and the chemicals behind it. So I have my laptop right here. That's why I'm in this setup because I have my notes on what I actually want to say because I know I'm not a skin expert. I'm not a dermatologist. I study business management which is like a completely different side of the world so I really wanted to take down notes and make sure that everything that I'll be saying today is true and again all of the products that I will be talking about and featuring today were not sponsored I have to admit some of them I got them for free but when I tried it it worked well for me so here is a photo of me with clear skin, but I also figured that some of you guys might think I edited it. So here is a random video of me talking about me eating chicken for my fitness vlog. You can see how my skin is so clear without any makeup. Now I have another disclaimer. So I actually have an incoming pimple here, which is probably hidden by makeup. And then I have an active pimple here, and then I have an acne scar here. Right now I'm actually trying out a new skin skincare brand from Korea and then I'm gonna make a review out of it so obviously I have to try it out right for me to be able to review to you guys honestly and I think that is one of the factors why I kind of broke out a little bit like not really break out but I did get a pimple so maybe that's a factor why but before that I swear I was so happy that my skin finally cleared up and also because I go through hyperpigmentation so it takes my skin a longer time to be able to heal those acne scars my skin is actually the combination type meaning my skin is dry but then on the t-zone area and then especially my chin also i do get oily so i do have to take care of it better and it took a while for me like you guys can ask my friends in college especially the first year once i started putting on makeup every day and i was in taft it's so polluted there i would break out a lot i would get a lot of whiteheads i had a lot of bumps on my forehead it was crazy and i get numerous pimples from time to time and then eventually after being able to research about the products the brands of certain products and the chemicals thanks to Leah Yu again I was able to slowly build up my own skincare routine that has worked for me before anything, I actually start by washing my hands with Safeguard. This looks like an ad, but it's not. But really, you don't know how much germs and dirt you have in your hands and even under your nails. And will you really put on skincare products when your hands are dirty? Then after that, I also use a head bun. You guys can use like just clips or anything, especially if you have bangs, just to put the hair away from your face. I understand that some people shower in the morning, some people shower at night. So what if you wash your face and your hair is dirty? And then what if it's all over your face then you're gonna put on skincare products? Like imagine how dirty that is. And I don't know, it's just gross. So even if I actually just did take a bath, I just use this or pins for my bangs just to keep my hair away from my face and to keep my face clear and clean while it absorbs everything that it needs to absorb. So next is my makeup remover. This is the Aveeno Active Naturals Positively Radiant Makeup Removing Wipes. Now I super love this one because this makeup remover remover actually removes my eye makeup and my eyeliner and my lipstick very very easily you know those are the products that actually are kind of hard to remove as compared to foundation concealer blush and everything so I super super love this I feel like it tries to at least wipe out as much as it can although I have to admit it doesn't wipe out everything it really does help out remove like at least a lot of it I don't think it's really necessary to get this exact brand as long as you make sure that you make the effort to remove your makeup before cleansing as well like a double cleansing thing that's a thing the next thing that I use is this facial wash this is the Fluoroxygen plus C facial wash by Christina Professional so this was actually recommended by my dermatologist from facial care she just gave this to me I think they sell it in facial care I don't know if they sell it somewhere else but this is for skin hyperpigmentation and photo damage and it lightens visible acne scars so when you have your face cleaned in clinics the thing is they actually try to remove the whiteheads and everything 
But the thing is, I noticed that every time I get a facial treatment, I actually get acne scars because my skin is that sensitive that you cannot touch it as much as you can or you cannot really do the facial cleaning. Like the most cleaning you can do is like washing the face, maybe putting a mask, but actually like cleaning out your skin, my skin can't handle that. It gets damaged very, very easily. So I stopped going on facial treatments and I just completely relied on the products that I am featuring today because that is what really worked for me and prevented me from getting acne scars as well. But also to prevent the other acne scars, like because this one, I actually touched it. I pricked it, that's why it's an acne scar. So don't do that. But but basically this will target that area and I did notice that I did get less bumps I got less pimples and my acne scars started to heal better I guess or faster when I started using this that's why I really trust this cleanser because before I tried this cleanser there are other more products that I tried and my skin was just not okay with it so this one I will probably never ever change it anymore and also it is gel based so when it's gel based the thing is that it's actually lighter on the skin and usually it dries your skin less which is a good thing then after washing my face I always always use a facial tissue back then I would use my towel I've also tried using toilet paper tissue but then there's just residue with the toilet paper so I really just use a facial tissue now I've been there so I know better now of course if you want to save the planet better you can use a facial towel as long as you know that the towel is soft and you really just pat it on your face and not rub it so that your skin won't sag or age earlier so the first thing that honestly cleared my skin it was like my step one i only tried it in late 2019 i think and that is when my skin started clearing up like once i tried this my whiteheads cleared up my pimples didn't really appear as much the recommendation of using this was i think around one to two times a week but they used it around two to three times a week especially on the days where i just felt so oily or on the days where i just feel like i had a really really long day and i wanted to just clear that up so that is when I use this it really really helped me for a while but I realized that in the long run when it comes to maintenance I don't think it's something that you need to use it's more of like to remove what you already have but then for maintenance don't use it anymore because according to my research according to Leah Yu it's not really harmful but it is very intense so it's not the most recommended clay though I do recommend it because it worked for me back then when I had those bumps right now I don't really have those bumps anymore so I stopped using it I do not use this anymore like I barely use it I think the product is like until here right now so it basically vacuums your pores it draws out all impurities deep your skin so it is a must to moisturize if you're using active ingredients for the skin to produce less oil which means clogging less pores because the more dry your skin is the more you dry it out the more that your skin will feel like it needs to produce more oil or more excess sebum when it actually doesn't so those excess oil and sebum are the ones that are actually clogging your pores i honestly hope i said that correctly but yes again i do not use this anymore but it worked for me before then after washing my face I used the Bello Acne Pro treatment toner with some cotton pads I use this every single day I use this both in the morning and at night when you wash your face it actually doesn't clear out everything especially when you put on makeup sometimes you'll see that there are actually excess dirt and excess makeup that you will get just from using the toner so some people before use toner like in their hands and then tap it on your face but the most recommended thing is actually to use cotton pads when you use this so it can remove the dirt but at the same time being able to make your skin get activated and be ready to absorb everything that it has to absorb because the toner actually enhances its absorption properties I guess now my only problem with this is that it has alcohol content and the thing is alcohol is dry and irritating and it makes the skin barrier weaker so I actually have been trying to look for another toner in which I tried to use the other skincare brand that I am currently using which is why I got this but I think that brand is too mild that I feel like I got pimples out of it especially coming from this so I went back to using it I haven't really found the perfect toner but I will probably do more research and consult more people about this product since it does contain alcohol like you can actually smell the alcohol inside it then after using my toner I have two serums that I regularly use 
So first, I'm gonna talk about this one. So it's from The Ordinary. It's the niacinamide 10% and zinc 1%. So this was really recommended by so many people. So what really is niacinamide and zinc? So first, niacinamide reduces the appearance of spots, marks, and congestion, which I needed because I had acne scars. And then perfect for dull, spotty, blemished, and aging skin. Clears the skin and results to smaller pores. So I figured that if I use this, it's actually more of a maintenance thing and also targeting the acne scars as well. So I really, really wanted to use this. So I use this every day and I noticed that my skin got clearer, less bumpy, like there are barely any bumps anymore. And this is just really, really good with maintenance. Again, I use the Aztec to remove my initial breakout but then more on maintenance i started using the ordinary niacinamide and it's the best thing ever i super super recommend this and also before i forget the zinc has anti-inflammatory effects and also targets acne and acne scars so it is a good duo the only catch when using this product is that you have to research on the other products and chemicals that do not go well with niacinamide because they actually exist i think one of them is vitamin c if i'm not mistaken but vitamin a is fine so you really have to be careful on the combinations of your skincare routine so let's say if you use niacinamide in the morning you can use vitamin c at night just so that you don't end up using them at the same time because it's something called counterproductive i'm gonna link it down below on what products go well together and what products don't go well together just so that you have an idea and it's not just about niacinamide as well then next is also from the ordinary it is the caffeine solution 5% plus EGCG. Now caffeine reduces pigmentation, puffiness, and dark circles. And then EGCG reduces inflammation, so it does go well together. So initially, when you read the product review or like what the product is about, it's actually more on for under eyes for your eyes so that it's less puffy and everything. But I saw a review in Beauty Manila saying that she uses this as a slimming antioxidant, which lowers fat and water retention as well. I don't know how true it is based on science, but then based on experience, I tried it. Like I put it here all the time and I feel like it actually worked. Like if you've seen my skincare tips video from before i actually talked about this already on what my experience is while using this but basically it worked for me so i always put it here on my cheeks because i'm very cheeky and also on my eyes i don't really know if it works because i don't get progress pictures but i don't know like i just i just put it anyway because it did not cost me to have pimples or anything so it's fine for me but then i'm dry on this area so maybe i didn't really get pimples here since i'm dry so if you're an oily face person maybe you should research about this first if this will be okay for your skin or not so after i use my serums i don't use any essential oils or emulsions well at least before my new partnership but i go straight into my moisturizer so i use this ha bha pha 30 days miracle cream by some by me so that is the brand the reason behind why i got this was actually quite funny because back then i was already watching leah's videos and she would always mention how good ha and bha chemicals are for you like when it's in skincare products so once i saw like it literally said ha and bha like i was like okay i think i'll get this i've never heard of the brand some by me but since there's ha and bha like right here I just bought it and then I don't know it's like the best thing ever but what is AHA and BHA exactly so AHA helps peel away or shed the surface of your skin so new cells may regenerate it targets acne scars and it contains glycolic lactic and mandelic acid so this is actually really really good when it comes to exfoliating your skin targeting the outer layer of your skin on the other hand BHA targets the inner layer of your skin so it goes deeper into the pores to remove dead skin cells and excess sebum and then it is good for oily and acne prone skin and it also contains salicylic acid so ha and bha are actually a good combination because while the ha is targeting and opening up and removing the old cells the bha can better penetrate into your skin i don't really know if that's the right term but basically it's a good duo if you guys want to know more about it you guys can check out leah Yu's videos about ha and bha because it is amazing and you will learn so much i know this is a little expensive I I think it's like 800 if I'm not mistaken for this small bottle but it smells really good and it really works it smells like 
green tea mint and I don't know like it's just so relaxing and it gives you that Korean glass skin afterwards and then lastly this is super super good for pimples and incoming pimples this is the Adapalene anti-acne gel now so many people have recommended this you can get this over the counter so back then you actually need a prescription but now you can already get it over the counter because it is so effective my dermatologist was actually the one who recommended me to use this to prevent incoming pimples the thing is as an expert she recommended to use it just once a day but then I use it a lot of the day like I'm gonna tell you right now and put on that disclaimer that I'm not sure if you're supposed to do that but as for me what worked for me is that every time I feel like my incoming pimple is getting oily again I put this automatically and it really really works and the reason why I keep saying incoming pimple is that when I feel a bump or some redness or an incoming pimple basically a pimple with no gooey stuff inside yet this will work but once the pimple is like fully alive and popping out of your face and there's just like a big bump already I'm gonna tell you that this will not work anymore like it's hopeless if the pimple is alive so I actually have an incoming pimple somewhere here right now so after this video I'm gonna remove my makeup and then put this right away to prevent it and I'm gonna prove it to you guys that it will go away now for the pimple here it's already active so I feel like it's kind of hopeless already but I'm still gonna try my best to keep putting it on because it actually worked on my pimple here before like it was already like alive but then it worked after putting it for an entire week again and again that's why I'm almost out but then this one like I don't know I'm kind of losing my hope so when it's a scar I actually use this tretinoin retin na retin a this one it's more of peeling off the skin like really peeling it off this is by prescription so you might need like a dermatologist to prescribe you to be able to buy it from mercury drug for this one you can only use it once in every two days because it's very very strong for your skin i have tried putting this every day on my acne scars before and it started burning and getting darker because this is actually not good for the sun so when you use this you can only use it at night because i don't really know the term but if you put it during the day and then the sun hits you your skin will actually get darker than what it already actually is so just put this at night and it will exfoliate your skin but i don't really use it as much anymore because when when my skin is peeling it's harder to put on makeup so I'd rather just cover it up with concealer and then just let it heal naturally but since I'm just at home no one's really gonna see me so I do still put this on on my acne scars I have been putting it here so it got lighter already because I got that one layer of skin off but I'll continue to use this maybe in the next two weeks so that it gets even lighter so that is it for my skincare routine video I hope you guys learned something especially about products and brands and why it will work for you and why it won't again I still get that occasional pimples it's not something that you can avoid especially if you have hormones and everything but my best advice would be to never skip your skincare routine even if you're lazy because the next day you will get that pimple and also to never try touching annoying or pricking your pimples or whiteheads because you will get an acne scar and again if you feel like you have an incoming pimple target it right away so that you can avoid it and that is it for today's video please follow my instagram if you haven't yet for more content and updates like this video and ring the notification bell or subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and i'll see you guys next week bye